it is recording now so i'll go to the website you can see this what i'm doing with this yep okay so this is character creation tutorial uh i have not even gone into this but nico's gonna walk us through it to make yeah you like dip your toes in and panic called me yeah um it is confusing right off the bat so this will just be easier instead of nico having to explain it to everybody each time they try to make a, a character um we're just gonna do it together now <laughs> yeah um, uh, i didn't mean to click that uh, go away naruto <laughs> um okay so uh i'm assuming we're doing the standard one just <clears throat> because of this ideal for beginners here uh yeah um so when we click on this it opens it up uh i made an account so i think you have to make an account before you get on yeah, the website to save the character sheet to your profile yeah so this I don't know what's that name. I haven't come up with the name yet. Um, I'll have to figure that out. Uh, but we'll just go through each part, and it'll make it easier for all of us to use. Um, mm -hmm. So you kind of already explained sources to me, but do you want to... Um, whoops. Do you want to do that again here, just so we can kind of explain what this is? Yeah. So the sources, you can honestly like leave it as is. When I was messing around with it, I left it as is and not much really changes. Um, it's basically just asking whether or not you want to reach past what um, the D&D &D playbook or handbook goes by. Um, like the... Um, uh, shoot, I can't like read all the names. Hold on. Uh, there's the homebrew, the critical role, playtest magic yeah okay so like a uh, critical role is a a more popular uh podcast that kind of kicked off the whole D, D spree um it's just asking if you want to go based off of characters or monsters perhaps that maybe they've uh created or talked about or maybe the role set guide that they go by um i really only clicked on critical role because i understood their style of play because i've heard parts of what they've talked about but the other ones you don't really need to worry yourself about. And I have no idea what the Rick and Morty thing is, so. Um, how I kind of <coughs> explained it was um, it's kind of like Cards Against Humanity where you have the base game, which is Cards Against Humanity, and then you can buy the expansions. And these are similar to, like, an expansion of the game. Um, yeah. But do you want us, like, when we create our characters, do you want us to leave it like this? Or do you, do you want the critical role turned on? Because um, we should all have it the same. Probably. Yeah, I think when I made my my test character, I clicked everything but the Rick and Morty thing. Okay, I'll go ahead and leave these one. I won't. I won't do the Rick and Morty. Um, going down to the next one uh, is advancement type, uh, story based character progression, X XP based character progression. Uh, uh yeah, you guys are going to be XP. Okay. Uh, are you sure you want to change? Yes, we do. Want yes. That. Uh, because I'm doing it based off the XP, um, and I can go more into detail about this later, but Milestone is basically you get XP based off of doing certain things, and yes, you guys are going to be doing that in the beginning, but I still have XP tied to those certain Milestones that you guys reach as a group, and I'm going to kind of be a little more loosey-goosey about how XP works, like if you guys all participate in killing a monster or a group of monsters, you guys will all get the XP attached to said monster, Mm. Um, but let's just say Emily's feeling lazy and is just taking a nap in the back. Um, <laughs> Emily will not receive that XP. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> so next one is hit point type. Uh, when leveling up, increase hit points by the fixed value for your chosen class or manually enter a rolled value. Um, fixed or manual. Uh, do fuck. What did I pick? I think I picked fixed. Okay. So increase hit points by the fixed value for your chosen class. Mm -hmm. that yes right. yes that's what i chose because everyone gets hits point hit points depending on what race and class they play so let's uh for example um a f uh, fighter human is going to have more hit points than let's say a dwarf cleric okay um, and it just makes sense because the cleric is more healing and and plays more of a back like a support role meanwhile the fighter in oh, i guess we're going overwatch terms is more like a tank and needs more hp if they're going to be throwing themselves in the line of battle yeah, speak overwatch terms so i know what you're talking about <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try to connect D, D to overwatch yeah because i really i do not know um 
All right. Uh, use prerequisites. Allow or restrict choices based on rule prerequisites for the following for this character. Uh, uh, I just left both of those like as it is. Okay. Uh, I do not how I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, N. Cumbranth. Brank. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. I just left that one alone. Okay. Uh, it says the rules for it. Disable. I don't know what that is, but whatever. I'll just go with how you say. Uh, ignore coin weight. Coins yep. do not count against your total weight. So, uh, so weight is a thing in the game. Yes, absolutely. Um, again, I, uh, in dwarf to human fighter uh, esque things. A short, stubby man is not going to be able to throw 150 pounds like a fighter human. Okay, so I'm going. I'm going to contest you guys on strength checks. Okay. You guys are not going to just get to throw barrels upon barrels with no problem. <laughs> okay, so... That wouldn't be fun. I'm not going to make it easy on you guys, because if I make it easy on you don't. guys, it's not going to be fun. Yeah, don't. Um, so this is just <clears throat> saying that the coins that we collect will not uh, add on to our... Uh, yeah, I don't give a shit. You guys can have, you know, fucking 200 GP. I'm not going to... I'm okay. not going to tell you that you weigh five pounds more. Okay. Um... So the next one is ability score slash modifier display. Uh, reverse the arrangement of ability modifiers and scores. Uh, what are the selection? It's just modifiers to I chose modifiers top. Okay. Uh, character privacy. Toggle the viewing of your character to private. Only you can... Oh, I, this, I, this is, I think, just related to your account. Yeah, uh, you guys can just click private. I'll make it private. I don't think anyone needs to... See my yeah, character. the only person that needs to see your character sheets are me. Okay. Um, so we'll go into the next one. I think he can use this arrow, but I'll go up here. Uh, so these are the races. This is so exciting. Yeah, and if you see, some of them have multiple. Like, I think the dwarf, you can choose. Uh, oh, there's three sub-races. Wow. Mm -hmm. They have all the sub-races for so, those ones. I don't know how well you know each of these, but if you want to make this easier for everybody to choose, do you want to go through each of them and kind of explain? <laughs> or should we open them up? I'm sure there's explanations. Uh, I think there's explanation. Yeah, because if you click on it, it'll show you an explanation of the character before. So, yeah, I have no idea what the fuck that is, but if you click it. Okay. It'll show. It'll tell you what it is before you confirm that you want that to be your bird character. Folk. So it's basically um a bird person. <laughs> it's a furry. It's a furry. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we can leave it to them to choose. Yeah, that's kind of like. I mean, if you guys click it, it'll give you a description. So I, I can't help you guys if the description is right there. <laughs> I don't know there what are, to tell you. There are a lot of humanoid. Uh, these are a lot of furry uh, bait, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, these yeah, two are furry. The first two. Uh, dwarf. Yep. Oh, there's sub races here. Hill dwarf, mm -hmm. mountain dwarf, elf, elderin, high wood. I think I was just going to go with elf because I don't really know any of the other ones. Can My father just took a giant shit and I can smell it from this room. That I love that addition to our tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these, I had to. Um, mm -hmm. Are these ones the elemental ones you were talking about earlier? Oh, yeah. I didn't think that they were included, but I guess they are. Should we avoid these? Uh, I would say the only thing to avoid just based off the university arc that I have going on. I mean, I guess that's not really a spoiler because you guys don't know what's going on. Uh, don't pick necroman necromancy as your uh, study of magic. So you get a That's the only thing I'm going to tell you guys. Don't pick necromancy. Okay. For this particular campaign. For this campaign, do not pick necromancy. Okay. I, I will put you in a school of magic of my choosing. Unlock all official options in the marketplace. Okay. Yeah, that's where you can buy more. So, I think we'll get on... I'm assuming we're going to find later on in one of these that um, what we get to choose our study of magic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you uh, pick a... a a race that is a magic studier um yeah are you just gonna make your character right now uh i might we might just go through the tutorial first just because i feel like this is gonna take a while for me to individually go through each one um yeah so we'll just... uh, i don't think we can do towards the end of the tutorial without you picking some just... so maybe not like save it but just like pick elf yeah, or i'll something. just choose a random one right now we'll just choose this elf person do i need to pick and it'll uh i mean we can go through those real fast um It'll basically, those, those little things will basically tell you what you're good at. Like, it'll tell you the languages that you can speak, um, the can trips, I think, that you can cast. Um, you can, like, choose the languages that you speak and choose the can trips. 
Um, you, I think you only get one or I think you get one cantrip at level one, and you get a couple more uh, as you go on. Um, but it'll just make you pick one, and you can. I think it gives a little description about what that cantrip is all about. Um, is, yeah. Okay. So. So it literally guides you through making a character for D and D. Right. So we need to. So just check when you choose your race. I guess at the bottom. Um, yeah, d- definitely scroll down and pick your cantrips. I think if you don't pick it here, it'll pick it for you. All right, and we can. And it'll just language. like randomize it. Um. Do, for our campaign, does it matter language wise? Should we know? Anything? Uh, as long as you pick common, I don't care what else you speak. Okay. Um, I'll just pick a random one for right now. Uh, okay. Well, then we'll move on. Uh, we'll go to class. So these are classes. Mhm. And like the race thing or race section, if you click on it, it'll give you a brief description about what you're going to be doing, your advantages, your minor disadvantages, I think, as well, uh, before you confirm what your class is. All right. So you can be like an elf fighter. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess I don't really mind. Okay. I just picked a random one. Um, but mm-hmm. it looks like you also pick, you also have to choose some things here. Yeah, um, I don't think you choose anything for hit points because that's kind of determined by what your ending constitution will be. I think it's eight plus your constitution. So let's say your constitu- it's constitution's two, uh, your beginning hit points will be ten. Okay. And we can all go over that like yeah, when you guys send me your character sheets. Is. I can figure out your baseline hit points or I think it adds up your hit points at the beginning anyways. Okay. Um, and you pick your proficiencies, so that's basically what you're good at. All right. Um, skills, spell casting, arcane recovery. Sure. Yep, yep, yep. Available at higher levels. Yep, that tells you what you'll be able to do as you gain levels. Okay. Oh, I see. So you can choose the level of your character. Yes, everyone choose level one. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, level one. <laughs> I, if one of you guys walks in level 20, I'm killing you on the spot. <laughs> so, um, I see here, so, af- so let's say after six, is this, is this, um, after six hit points? So that that's would how many be, I can endure? uh, that's how many hit points you'll start off with, I believe. What is a hit point? Uh, hit point, uh, basically your HP, how long you'll last in a battle, how much damage you can take. Mm. And then hit dice is... Is uh, if you guys do a, um, a quick recovery or a quick little nappy, um, that's how many dice you can roll to regain your HP back. So a quick little rest, you can roll, what does that say, 1d6? Mm-hmm. So you roll 1d6 to bring your health back up. Mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> Alright, I guess th- we'll just keep going along because this is kind of confusing still. Um, abilities now. Uh, ability okay. scores. This is confusing, Nico. I don't think you do anything on this page. Uh, let me. What are? Is there a manual one? So yeah, there's a generation method, which is standard oh, pick the array. standard standard array. Yeah, and okay. then you can pick. It'll give you uh, I think eight to twenty, eight to. 8 to 15 and you can pick what you're more good at versus not so we picked like our character yeah so if i was going so based... if you want to be if you want to be stronger than you are smarter you can pick that and then it'll balance your your character out uh towards the end right so i what i was explaining in the instagram group chat is what i uh I was co- trying to explain to Colleen was I want to make our characters kind of based off of ourselves. It doesn't have to be ourselves. Like I'm not going to be a human in this world. Mm-hmm. Um, and I probably won't do the same name. Might be similar, um, but not. Yeah. I'm not doing like my actual name. Emolt. Yeah, something weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so for you, your intelligence would be really low. Yeah, but I'm But your basically, charisma would be really high. Yeah, I'm going to do like eight, but I'll do like maybe a 14. 14- 14 charisma wisdom the lowest one uh so constitution can you explain what that is uh yes uh <laughs> fuck 
I I really I really know what it is. Hold on, give me a second. Um, Strength. I'm not super weak. I think Constitution is withstanding an attack. It's your ability to save yourself from an attack. Let me double check that. Hold on. That's all right. Uh, Dexterity. Dexterity. You're gonna have to remind me. Um. Uh, Flippy, you are. Like, are you a flip wizard or are you a shit goblin? How flippy? That's a very odd. Uh... It's it's basically it's just how dexterous you are. Like, how quick on your feet are you? Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Constitution basically. My, uh, I'm on rule twenty, but um. Oh, here it has all of them right here. So strength, measuring your physical power. Dexterity, measuring your agility. Constitution measures your endurance. So, like I said, constitution is the d20 that you'll be ro- rolling to see if you can save yourself from an attack. Um, intelligence, me- measuring reasoning and memory. Wisdom, measuring perception and insight. And charisma, measuring force of personality. Okay. Um, so, dexterity is, like, they said agility. I'm not... Mm-hmm. So, I we can't leave them blank, I'm assuming. Uh, not unless you want a negative, and that would not be good. <laughs> Uh, so I'll do just a lower one, and this is endurance, pretty much. And there's only pretty one much, option. yeah. How uh, good? How good can you get hit? Oh, so I see. So you pick one for each, and they become unavailable. Oh, okay, I see. Mm-hmm. So the full list gets breaking down in, into each one. So then yes. maybe I might want to make like move them around a little bit because I wouldn't say my. My endurance and my agility. I definitely would say my endurance would be lower than my, or my, yeah, my endurance would be lower than my, whatever. You guys can figure it out, but I definitely am going off of, um, who you are. Stats. Yeah. Um, so this, I'm assuming these are each of our scores here. (laughs) Uh, Uh, yeah. So that basically tell you what you're good at, what you're bad at. So these other modifiers and override scores, I don't need to add anything to these. Uh, no, though I'm not really going to be using those. Like I said, I'm going to be a little more loose because we're all learning the game. So I'm not going to be the most technically proficient DM um, until maybe towards the end we can mess around with those. But for now, like it, I'm, I'm worried more about the baseline six. This is not letting me. Do zero. Um, hopefully I can leave that blank. Oh, yeah, you can uh, just leave them blank. You don't have to do anything to them. They keep going to three. I, I was just going to leave them at um, zero. All right, well, then we'll go to next. Uh, this is description. So, mm-hmm. looking for something not listed below. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Choose an option. So, custom background. Uh, Acolyte? Criminal, spy, folk hero, haunted one, noble, sage, soldier. So Yeah, so you guys can pick the kind of person that you are. Um, I don't really see you guys being any of the ones that are already there, so you can kind of make your own background because this is going to be like a, a untraditional, you guys are going to be in a university type setting. You guys are going to basically all be students, which I'm going to laugh really hard if there's like, an, a, like 160 year old high elf because that means the elf is basically 16. Yeah, okay. keep in mind for when you guys pick your characters' ages, what race they are. Because it's very different to be a 20-year-old human and a 200-year-old elf. Uh, is that down here? Alignment, faith, lifestyle, high age. So age, what is what does that even mean? <clears throat> age, I would Google search the race that you are to look a little more in-depth to figure out where about the age that you want your character to act is in regard to their their uh, race's maturity. So, since, again, I'm when it comes to this, this is what I was suggesting, is we're basing it off of ourselves. So I'm literally going to keep my silver hair. Like, if yeah. you guys wanted to do different hairs, like, uh, I'm going to give myself, like, if since I'm an elf, I want, like, pale white skin, maybe, like, yellow eyes. I'm going to make it not completely like myself, but I want it to have the same features and... I want it to be the same characteristics as myself. So basically myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Have fun with it. age wise, like I want to be 20 because that's I'm 20. Um, then you'd probably be like a little know. under 200 in elf years. Yeah. 
So that's something that you're, you're going to have to look up because I don't know that stuff off the top of my head, but I yeah. do know that elves live longer and therefore mature slower. All right. Um, so yeah, that's what I was suggesting to you guys since we're kind of going to be basing these ones off of ourselves. Uh, keep it like similar to yours. Like, wait, I'm going to keep my same weight, going to keep my same height. Uh, appearance wise, I'm going to mix it up. And I, so I can like do fun drawings. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, and for everyone flawless. else, if you want to look up like baseline, what your character like looks like. So like, let's say you're a dragonborn. Um, there, I mean, obviously there's instant, there's like differentials between every individual. But um, if you want to look up like baseline, like what the average weight and height of um, that race is, have fun. I see bonds here, um, like friendships. I have. N- uh, da, da, da. I guess we can look these up. It also says um, choose a background to get suggestions. So I'm assuming. Uh yeah, you have to figure. Out, you have to fill out everything else first. So like background and stuff. Should we? So do... just pick like a just like a fighter. I don't know. I'll just do the spy. Oh my. And then it yeah it'll ask you to fill out. So gaming set. What you I have. Don't know, I don't know if this is um. That's like your beginner's pouch that you have, like your little adventurer's kit. And you can look up what is in all of those, or you guys can, I mean, if you guys want to look it up to figure out what it is so you know what you're picking, that'd be good. But if you guys just, like, don't care and you want to pick a random one, I can look it up and figure out what is in your kit so I know what you're carrying. So that way, Emily, you're not like, I attack him with my short bow, but you don't have a short bow in your inventory. So- like for this criminal spy char- background so i'm assuming like the character's background they were a spy or they are a spy mm-hmm. a criminal they get to choose a tool they get yeah they get to choose a big be- a beginning set based off of but being they, a criminal or spy yeah but they it's gonna base it's gonna um yeah i'm pretty sure the playing card set is literally just a cheating set of cards like a like a yeah, just like cheating cards. Oh, these are the suggested characteristics. Okay, ideals, bonds. Okay, so these are bonds. I'm... Mm-hmm. Oh, these are Like, bond... how do you perceive your these friends? These are not bonds with people. These are quote-unquote things bonded to you, like um, your debt. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, but there's, there's like, uh, friend attachments uh, further down. Like, how do you view yourself versus your friends? I don't see that. Uh, you might have to go further down. I don't know. I definitely Details. saw something like that. Ideals, bonds, notes. Oh, allies. I'm assuming we'll add ourselves. Yeah. Others. You can get really in depth with it. I don't know if I'm gonna mm-hmm. make it super crazy. Yeah, I mean, and um, like with the adventure zone, they didn't really have backgrounds set up for each other in the beginning. They kind of just like were an elf, a dwarf, and a human. And then as the story progresses progressed they made backstories within themselves that still matched up with the storyline they had created so if you guys want to do that that's fine too all right um well we'll move on just for the sake of moving on uh this is equipment so um attuned magic items you can get currency and i guess your things uh can you hear that music uh very slightly okay yeah my dad just started working out that's okay. Um, so, none available. I don't know, like how you how this works. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm not quite sure either. I think you get those magic items as you progress through the game. Maybe I think I have to give them to you. I'm not sure. That this is where even I get confused. Okay, starting equipment. I'm assuming equipment. A core, core. Oh, so you just get to pick some stuff. Yeah. Oh, it, you might have to pick it, and then it shows up up there. I have no idea. I don't know. No, I guess not. Oh, and I don't it, know what it I'm looks like about. it changes based on your um, uh, your class too. Because I chose wizard randomly. It says wizard yeah. starting equipment. It looks like spellbook is already selected. Starting equipment. Yeah. Yeah, and when you guys send me these character sheets, just tell me everything that's in your inventory. So it makes it easier for me to keep track of you guys. Okay. My god, I'm gonna have five people to keep track of. Uh, inventory. <laughs> Thank god I made that fucking binder. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I think if you're confused with this craziness, we can just leave it. Because, like, personal possessions, I don't know what I'd put. I think this is stuff that will be modified to our characters as we go along. And I think, too, uh, we might we might do different campaigns, like, completely different stories with different characters. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. So, like, this is just to dip our toes in to figure out, like, how everything, like, the mechanics of it. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, we could base it off of ourselves so it might be a little easier to... Because we'll be easier easily or able to, that was um, the word to do like our description if we're basing it off of ourselves um so i guess we'll just go through this like as we can currency um are you going off of these um currency you guys really don't have to worry about i'll start you guys off with some money and you know how like campuses in our actual reality um they have like school stores yeah so you guys will have the equivalent equivalent of that and depending on your guys's backgrounds like if you guys if you guys are basing yourselves off the backgrounds that you have maybe your parents send you off with some money to go to school maybe they don't if they do how much um so but we, we can like that? roll for that or should i put this at zero for now yeah you guys can just all put it at zero for now we can figure out currency based off of background you guys have established characters. Okay. Uh, we'll go to the what's next. Um, so I'm assuming we can view the character sheet. And this is what we're giving you, correct? Yes. I'm going to need it. Um, Please. I think I've said that maybe ten times now. Please send me your character sheets. You don't exist in my world if I don't have your character sheet. So, I guess that means, yeah, so we'll download it as a PDF. You just hit the export character sheet. All right, well, yep. then, that seems like a pretty good run-through. I'm probably going to go through and try to do this now because I don't, I really Yeah, just, like, explore for a little bit. I know Colleen just messaged in the group chat that she's confused, so hopefully this tutorial will help her out a All little right. bit. Yeah. But, yeah, you guys, you guys don't have to send me these character sheets, like, within three days i'm not gonna come to your house and kill you if you don't send me your character sheet i still have to put together some of the story um i still have characters to make monsters to figure out where they're going to be put and stuff like that so um yeah take your time making your characters um i just want everyone to be in the discord group chat so we have a more cohesive way of communicating about specifically the D D group yeah i also saw oh my there's a lot of craziness here oh and it looks like yeah. the website too I don't, where, yep. where was I? Look, even where the heck did it go? Even the website goes through each of like the things you can put in and yep, more information. So maybe yeah, and the you website. guys don't have to worry about specificities uh, or specificities. I don't know if I'm saying that word right. That sounds right. You guys don't have to worry about the specifics of again. Let's say Emily, you are picking a elf and you are going to be a wizard. You guys don't have to pick your class until you're level two. So you guys can make your character pick some cantrips and some basic spells and then figure and then as you figure out and explore this a little bit more, figure out what your school of magic is going to be, whether you're going to be transmutation or uh uh, uh fucking I'm blanking out. But yeah. Okay. Just don't pick necromancy. That's off limits for this campaign. Okay. Um so we should should we pick our classes now or we should we should wait? You guys should uh, oh no, uh, class is different than school of magic. You guys can pick your class now, but within those classes there are different subclasses. So like I said with wizard, you you're a wizard, but then you also have a school of magic, and you'll look those up and you'll tell me what school of magic you're gonna pick at level two. If you guys are a fighter, um, there are, I think. Off the top of my head, I only know two types of fighters, and there's a defending and a attacking type. So a defender is more based around protecting the party, and an attacker, um, as the name suggests, it's more um, strength-based and will go more forward. Um, so it, 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 you guys pick your class now, but then uh, I can when you guys pick your class, I can go through and I can pick out uh the specifics of what class it what class you are and what subclasses fall within that class okay um i did just come up question just popped up into my head this is probably going to be up to you but we were talking about so we're doing a you said university style campaign 
which I have no mm-hmm. idea what that is. But um, you said it was more modernized. It's not super fantasy. Yeah. Um, when I say, sorry, I should probably clarify because when I say university style campaign, you guys are probably thinking that's an actual campaign style. Um, when I say university style campaign, oh, look, you're adorable. Sorry, she just stretched right in front of me. Um, when I say university style campaign, what I mean is it's not going to be a traditional, you know, go into a dungeon, you fight a dragon. You guys are going to be based in a campus slash university. Like you guys, the baseline of the story that I can tell you guys is you all, like in real life, packed up your shit and went to school to figure out how to be an adventurer. Okay. So it, it kind of does tie into what we're doing now. Like we're all figuring out how to play Dungeons and Dragons. You're trying to figure out how to be adventurers to set up everything. So you guys in, in this universe that I'm, or in this, yeah, universe that I'm creating, um, characters that want to pursue adventuring go to typically a school to figure out how to do it. So like, you're not going to learn how to fight just by going and chopping down some goblins and getting some XP. You guys are going to go through like classes and they're going to be mystery solve and Yes, you guys are going to fight monsters. Like, they're going to be rats and shit that you guys have to fight. Um, so you guys are going to get in the monsters, but you guys are also going to get the educational side of figuring out... Because we all need to figure out how to play Dungeons and & Dragons and, and everything like that. Um, so it's kind of a learning, but there will be action. Okay. Oh if that God. makes sense. I heard that'd be a decent way to start it off. Yeah. Um. So what I was going to add was... um kind of just like uh this is just extra just because i'm extra and you know me um i'm totally gonna be drawing my character by the way uh just because i why not we're all artists we are Mm -hmm. completely capable of putting in a little bit of crappy art together to make our little ocs that we're doing Um, i'd be surprised if we didn't make those right i'd be surprised if we didn't be drawn like that was the first thing that came into my mind was drawing the character i already have ideas planned out for how my character is going to look but what i was going to say was since we're doing more of a modernized style uh your character um character design should be reflecting that uh so i'd say it would be like a mix of like medieval fantasy with like modern day world so maybe yeah so you guys aren't going to have cell phones like everything is still going to be candlelit but i was thinking like oh maybe it would be kind of like a way of saying it is like maybe like medieval streetwear (laughs) yeah medieval streetwear so like you know similar to like how i would dress but like maybe with like potions hanging off of the side of my pants or something i don't know something fun just i think character creation is going to be really good and interesting and i can't wait to see everybody's characters um yeah but we'll post them uh in do you want us to post them in the um the discord uh in the info area or i don't know yeah i feel like it'd be easier on the upload stream for it to just go into discord because instagram does have like limitations to what it can handle um are we doing where where did we say we were gonna post it in player logs the f- images or where do you want us to upload our character sheets um so you guys can upload character sheets in the player log Okay. Um, if it's easier for you to get them to me that way, just know that like I'm uh, after their after you guys start leveling up, those character sheets mean nothing, and what I have down for you guys will be the end all be all. You guys also will be in charge of keeping track of your personal character, like how many hit points you have, if you level up, what level are you at, what spells do you have, uh, what but does it take to spell. You'll tell us what will need to be changing if that happens. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a level, a level, well, sorry, I just put Cheetos in my mouth. We'll, we will have a level up session where we all collectively go through the leveling up so that no one's lost, no one's confused. Um, it's not like Grace is leveling up three times and you haven't leveled up at all. Like, you guys are going to be pretty much together the whole time. Okay. But, like, your skill sets and your, your ability to cast magic and how you deal damage will differ. I hope differently. Like, hopefully, you guys don't all pick elves that cast transmutation magic. 
Um, I think we should also, while we're making our characters, try to converse that way that doesn't happen. And we all have uh, semi-different races. Um, yeah, baseline, um, uh, from what I've read and seen, uh, every campaign does well for a uh, magic caster, a healer of some sorts, and a fighter of some sort. Okay. Not necessarily like the fighter class, but like, I don't know, like a rogue versus three clerics. Mm. Yeah, I, we'll look into it. I definitely see like certain people being certain races and classes like i totally see grace being as like a fighter magic person or yeah like jasmine is like the wise like i don't know you you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah um, i kind of pictured either jasmine or mo being like the healer oh mo yeah mo would um, totally be i feel like a more friendly character yeah De- definitely mo is the lawful good of the group yeah um all right well then uh i think that'll be a good helpful little video for everybody to watch Uh, i'll end it here if anyone has any other questions we can talk in the general Um, yeah in the general you guys can ask i mean i can set up a i mean i can probably set up a a chat room for questions specifically so that way it's not being bombarded um yeah yeah, i'll do that right now actually all right well they ask questions in the question chat um we can discuss in the general it'll all just be try to keep things organized uh but i'll end the video here um just so it's not too long um but yeah hopefully you guys have a wonderful time uh yeah i i really hope that we all have fun with this i'm so excited (laughs) um but all right here i'll end it now peace out